read guidance. We're going to have a career guidance lesson. I think if you can see my screen, uh, this is teacher Nango Madrusila, a very passionate teacher about teaching. I'm teaching at Trinity College Nabingo. I am very glad to work with you. Now, being a teacher, I am the kind of teacher that believes that the moment you enter class like this, every child in that class matters. Whether you're tall, whether you're short, black, brown, fat or small, you matter. So I am that kind of teacher that is very passionate about children. I love children. Okay. So if you're here with us, welcome to today's session of career guidance. I need to know your expectations before I start to unveil what I have prepared for you. Isaac, what do you think this career guidance is for? I need to know what do you expect from this session? Singuzi, could you share with us? Hello. Hello. Hello, Singuzi, I can hear you. I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can. All right. Thank you very much. Um, I thank you very much also for uh, hosting us. Um, I'm also a teacher like you. You also? And I was, I'm also a teacher. Okay. Like you are, and I expect my expectation because I I, I think the other people will also participate. Yeah, yeah. I expect uh, answer the challenges uh, and um, recently I went to video. Um, it was one of the kids on this uh, social media where the kids were taking over the. Uh, the disciplinary um, uh, uh, sector in um, in education. So I is, uh, my expectation is to answer how how are the kids going to be handled when they come uh, they come back uh, to, to school. So uh, that's my brief expectation, uh, uh, okay, teacher. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Singozi. All right. Glad you're a teacher, and you're going to lay us together and figure out a way how we're going to deal with that. Um, Elisha, do you have any expectations? When I talk of career guidance, what comes to your mind? What should I talk about in your young mind as a youth that is going to change this country? Masi, when I talk of career guidance, what should you expect? Masi? Anyone, anyone to tell us when I talk of career guidance, because today's concern is on career guidance. What comes to your mind when I talk of career guidance? Desire, are you on? Desire, you prayed and left us hanging. Nicole, there are some ladies here. We are the people going to nurture the men and women of this country. Nicole, can I know what is your take on that? Okay, without wasting time, then I think I'll head on because someone about to talk. Okay, then I'll get straight to what I have prepared today. So when I talk of career guidance in this lesson, I expect that by the end of this, we are able to be able to define what a, a career is which career do I take on? I need to know, is it a job? So we need to differentiate between a career, a job, and a calling. That is what I'm going to talk about in this particular session. So please be ready for a bumpy ride on how we are going to define, distinguish, what are the variations in a career? If I pick a career, what do I consider? If I'm to pick on a job, what traits should that job have? What are some of the values I ought to hold on tight to? So by the end of this lesson, by the end of this session, we're going to share on such that three things are going to look like. Um, I'm going to handle the session with a colleague of mine, that is Mr. Dumba, he's on. So I'm going to deal with that, then he'll take you on, uh, on what he has prepared as well. So if I'm to define a career, 
let's look at this. What's the difference between a career? What's the difference between a job and a calling? When I talk about career, a calling and a job, what comes to your mind? I need you to share with me so that we know which path we are taking. What is the difference between a job, a career, and a colleague? Mm -hmm. Any ideas? Senior ones as you're entering secondary school, you must have these things at the back of your mind. Okay, what career do I want to pursue? Which job do I want to do? What is my calling? What is my purpose in life? Uh -huh. Any ideas? Please, it is interactive learning. This is the competence-based curriculum. The teacher is no longer the focal point of knowledge. Fausta, I'm asking, can we be able to define, differentiate between a job or career? Yes, I see a hand up. Please unmute yourself. Yes, Joel. Joel, what? Yes. I think a, a job is something you do to earn money while a career is something you train for. Uh-huh. And so a, good. And, and a calling. And a calling is something you feel like you 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 desire to do. You close. Thank you very much. So he's saying a job is something you do to earn money. For example, Joel, which one? We're in this COVID period, people people were uh was sucked from their jobs, but they have encountered, they have decided to carry on so many other jobs as long as they can survive. Which jobs, for example? Joel is saying a job is something that you do to earn money. A career, it is something that you are trained for. You mean there are no jobs that are trained? I think I've been trained to become a teacher. I went to university, I did a degree in education. Chloe Drusil, I'm happy to see you, my namesake. Joel was telling us that a job is something you do to a career is something that you do, that you're trained to do. Then a calling is something that you feel. I think Joel is right. I need someone to make it better. Chloe, I saw you on, Drusilla. What is the difference between a job, a career? I need to hear your opinion on it. A job, a career, and a calling. Yes, Drusilla. A job, a career, and a calling. Which is yeah. which? Elijah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. What is the difference as a senior one student? Do you have these things well laid out and defined for you? Galaxy J5, you're just looking at me. We are trying to figure out what is a career, what is a job, and what is a calling. Hey, I want us to think together, think out loud, so that we redefine, we tell where, who does what. Elijah, talk to me. If you have something to say, please raise your hand. If not, put in the chat room, and we give the discussion. Yes, Christopher. Christopher, a career, a job, and a calling. Any idea? Yes, Christopher. Yes, Peter. So Dodge, we're trying to redefine what a career is, what a job is. Yes, Stephen Dumba. The Stephen Dumba, please talk to me. A career, a job, and a calling. We are defining that. Stephen Dumba, unmute and say something. Thank you for raising up your hand. I think a job is a business which a to earn in money. Why you know a no, go slow, go slow. So a, job, a job you're earning money from it, right? Mm -hmm. You you just yes. like Joel. Mm -hmm. While well, a career is a person who uh -huh. has mm. more experience okay. in that so thing. Uh -huh. A career is something where someone has more experience. Good. Mm -hmm. And that. a calling. Okay, you have no idea what a calling is. 
All right, yes. thank you. Thank you. Peter, Peter, I see your hand up. Peter? Pulling is something that you like to do just to earn living and also to to do what to make you may I start again please Peter you're defining a calling may I start again please you're saying a calling is something mm. that you do mm. that you do to, to earn a living and also for your own benefits Okay, to Anna, isn't that more like a job? Um, thank you, Adot. Thank you very much. Elijah, finally. Okay, Elijah, I see Smith. I need your opinions on this. Yes, Elijah. A calling is something we are passionate about. Amazing. There is passion, there is love, there is joy, there is fun as you do it. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, a job is also something we can get income from. So basically, we are saying a job has money attached to it. I'm doing it to earn something. You mean there is no love? What about a career? I'm not Thank sure you. about that. Oh, okay, it is okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Smith, Smith, are you defining for us a career? Yeah. Hmm. A career is a amazing Smith. That is absolutely amazing. So a career is a series of things you have to do in a particular setting, something you're interested in, but it's it combines a series of steps you take. If you choose a particular career, say I've chosen a career in education as a teacher, for example. I'm going to look at becoming a, a subject teacher, then I grow from just a subject teacher to a class teacher, from a class teacher, I become a head of department, from head of department, I become a dose, from a dose, I become deputy, from deputy, I become head teacher. I am growing from step to step, but in the education career. So I've chosen a career in education and I'm going to grow. It is something I am doing it is a journey I'm taking, okay? So you're interested, when you're doing a career, you're interested in progress. You have to keep progressing. You see from being a secretary to a general manager to a human resource manager, and then eventually to the boss. Are we together? That is what a career entails. So let's look at these things in detail. So it is a series of work that you do for a significant period of time. And so I want examples of those careers that you know, a series of work you undertake for a significant period of time. You can be a, a career in education, you can be a career in medicine, a career in law, where you keep progressing from one step to the next, okay? Uh-huh, what about a job? What about, I think we defined a job as something that we do to earn money. Okay, so whenever you pick on a career, you're looking at, yes, there is payment involved, but it is a decision you take. If I'm to say I'm going to take on a career in medicine, I'm going to grow from being a nurse, from assistant nurse, for example, I become a nurse, then a doctor, I progress to a surgeon, and then maybe a consultant with time. Uh, Isabella, I see your hand up. I want to see the previous slide. I want to see the previous slide. Okay, sure. We are defining a career in our previous slide. So it is something you take on for a significant period of time. It is a life made decision. It is something that you're going to do and you find satisfaction in the work that you're doing. And I was giving examples of career. It can be a career in medicine. It can be a career in journalism. <clears throat> it can be a career in education where you're moving from one step to the next. When you're doing a career, you, you're looking at progressing, positive progress, okay? Isabella, I think I'm done with that. So that is what a career involves. 
you're looking at payment do they pay me am i progressing you have to do that kind of progress from one step to another if it is from certificate to a degree to masters to phd you're taking on a career in that particular section now there's a pastor called steve harvey i don't know how many of you know him for him he defined it as something that you are paid for this one. Timothy, mute your mic. Timothy, mute your mic. Timothy, kindly mute your mic. Thank you very much. So according to Steve Harvey, he's a pastor, a renowned pastor and a comedy one, a comic one at that. He says a career is something that you paid for. And I think when you're doing these careers, we get paid for. Not so. We get paid. Uh, so I want examples of those careers that you know. If you're joining senior one, what career do you have at the back of your mind? What career do you have at the back of your mind as you join senior one? Nicole, what career do you want to undertake as you join senior one? You must have goals. When I was in senior one, I had goals. I knew, yes, in as much as the career I was going to undertake was not based on what I wanted, but my father had maybe made me believe I was going to be a doctor. So straight from senior one, all my books were labeled PCB math, PCB math. Uh -huh. Jovia wants to become a neurosurgeon, so she wants to take a she wants to take a career in medicine. Uh huh. I want to know what are some of those careers you want to undertake. What are some of those careers you want to undertake? I need to hear you, so that we know what levels do you need to go through. Mm -hmm. Which career guidance are we going to offer you here at senior1.org? Huh? Eh, we have two surgeons here. Hesham is also going to become, she's going to take a, a career in surgery. Good. Uh -huh. Yes, Joel. Joel, what do you want to become? Ah, there is a dentist, Peter. Peter wants to become an engineer. Mm -hmm. Desire wants to become a teacher. Eh, people have powerful careers. No one wants to become a teacher. What is happening? Uh -huh. Oh, my mother wants to become an agriculture officer. No, no. Hmm. Nicole, Nicole, what do you want to become? Which career do you want to undertake? Nicole, unmute. Part of the, taking a career, you have to be bold and face your career with all these challenges. So, unmute. Yes, Rodney. Seems Nicole is failing to unmute. Rodney, which career do you want to undertake? Rodney Mochibi, which career do you want to undertake? Yes, Josan. People don't know how to unmute. I don't know. A pilot. You want to become a pilot? Oh my! You want to sail in the clouds? That is nice. Uh huh, Bavilia. Bavilia, which career do you want to undertake? I want to be a doctor. Uh, a doctor. Yeah. Anyone that wants to become a teacher. Uh huh, there is Bigira Smith. Bigira, mm. welcome to the world where we are driving ignorance out of Uganda. He wants to become a teacher of English. Smith, I want to hear from you. What is your inspiration? I finally got a teacher. Yes, Smith. What is inspiring you to become a teacher of English? I want to hear from Smith. Okay, mute your mic, please. Nicole, mute your mic. Smith, can I hear from you? What is inspiring yes, you teacher. to become a teacher of English? Excuse me, teacher. Yes, Smith. Teacher. Yes, please. Mm. Smith, I'm waiting to hear from you. What is inspiring you? We, they, we have been locked up for two years. People tell the teachers don't earn that much. Why do you want to become a teacher of English? Why? Smith? Smith is off. Let me look at other careers. I have a pilot. Someone wants to become an accountant. This is Angela. Smith, I'm still with you. I'll still get back to you. Okay, so moving on. So we, we are looking at a career as something that you do to get paid. It is a lifelong decision. It's a journey you take. And when you're pursuing that career, okay, you're looking at making yourself better each passing day. 
how do I move from one step to another? Whereas a calling is something that you are made for. If you have that voice that can sing, you're called to be a singer. We have those comedians that would, you just look at them and they simply make you laugh. They were called to be comedians. We have those musicians who have in the body for stage as per society settings. So a career is something that you're paid for. It is a decision you make. It is a lifelong decision. It is a series of services you're going to take in your lifetime. What about a job? A job is equally something that you pay, you get paid for. Uh -huh. Now, what is the difference between a career and a job? If I'm a doctor, and, um, and uh, let me see, a career. If I'm a doctor and the other person is a teacher, which is which? Who is doing a job and who is doing a career? I need that answer. If I have a doctor and a teacher or an engineer, there is a pilot, a dentist, who is doing a job? So when do we clarify that this is a job, this is a career? Where do we draw the line? Yes, Chanel. Yes, Chanel. Career. Chanel. A teacher has a job. A teacher has a job. Uh -huh. A teacher has a job. Mm -hmm. And Whereas a doctor has a career. Yeah. What are you basing on to make such conclusions? Angel, mm -hmm. what have you looked at to consider teacher as a, a job? Doctor is a career. We all wake up in the morning, we go, go and look at clients. Mm -hmm. What is your basis, Chanel? What do you think Angela is looking at? Consider a teacher as a job, then uh, a career is the doctor. Don't they mean? Mm -hmm. Chanel. I think they are both, they all, they, they are synonymous because at the end of the day, we are all going to get paid. However, in, yes, Maureen, Maureen, I see your mic is muted, unmuted. You have something to say? If I have a doctor and a teacher who is doing a career and who is doing a job, they're both jobs. I told you a, a career is something, a series of things you do as your own job. You get it? So when you're on job, you're also doing a career. You keep bettering your job. What you do to make your job better is what we call a career. Okay. Isabella, yes? Can I assume that in a career, one gets more jobs? <laughs> uh, yeah, you could say that because you keep getting better and better. You keep improving yourself. Uh, when you know what attitude should you have when you're doing a career and a job? Uh, at a job, even in a career, with all this training involved, because even if you're doing a career, you're being trained. To, you you cannot progress to the next level without being trained. <clears throat> so even with a job, so a career is embedded embedded in a job. Oh, a job and a career. What comes first? Uh, that is what you should ponder about after this lesson. Am I going to do a job or career? I think it is more or less the same. Career, you're on a job, but whatever you're doing on that job to improve yourself is what you're calling a career. So it usually involves a lot of training. Uh, someone in the chat room is saying a, a teacher does it for a living while a doctor does it passionately. Haha, <laughs> Jovia, don't scratch this wound. A teacher does it to get a living. After you saying we are the most broke people, then a doctor has it, does it with passion. Having just seen doctors that are backing at you, they're just there because, I mean, it pays money. And having just seen very passionate teachers like this one talking to you over here, Jovia, I feel offended, but let me move on. Hmm? Let me move on peacefully. So, uh, why, why some people do certain jobs? So, when you take on a job, you're looking at certain factors. Okay, I can wake up in the morning and it is insane in the morning. The man comes in and I start selling grasshoppers. I have taken on a grasshopper job. Okay, so when you're picking a job, sometimes you need to be trained, sometimes you're looking at the possible market. You can do it for survival. When you're doing a job, it is a means to earn, and some people don't really care. We've seen prostitutes on the streets. I, ha I have no way of surviving. I have to do this job. You get it? So, 
Uh, Hesham, we are going to take this work on our Google Classroom. Don't put yourself on pressure over copying the slides, okay? We are going to put this work on our Google Classroom. So when you're doing a job, there are some things you take. Sometimes people do jobs just for survival. Now in this lockdown, people have done so many jobs that people are selling masks, others have started charcoal selling, people have opened up restaurants, depending on what is on demand. It is a means to an end. You're simply doing something to survive, to earn from it. Basically, that is what a job entails. Okay. However, others have to be trained. Be trained to become a teacher, to be trained to become an engineer, a doctor, a dentist, a pilot, all those jobs. So what you do as a pilot to move from one level to another is what you're calling a career. So a job is the career is within the job. Now, it, it gets better when you love that job, you're meant to do it. That is when the idea of a calling comes in. Yes, Isabella, I see your hand up. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Isabella? Shall we be shown how to how to go in the Google Classroom and access all these slides. Yes, you will. You will, don't you worry. So I, like, I want us to move on. I think now we've understood the difference between a job and a career. So a career is within the job. You would grow on a job. The things you do to make your job better is what you're calling a career. So we can have various careers. You can have someone doing fashion and design, a website developer. Lately in this lockdown, website development has become the in thing. We have people in the media, someone wants to become a news anchor, an editor, someone is wanting, someone wants to do the advertisement. All that is what career you're going to choose. I want to become a teacher, I'm going to deal in the finance, I'm going to work in the business world. All those decisions you take are the ones that tell us at senior1.org to give you career guidance. We are here to help you on how to get that career, making an informed decision on which career to, to take. And I think we need this. And so we need this so much. So when picking a career, what are some of the things you should look at? Okay, goals, goals. Mm -hmm. values. Someone is reading for me. Who is reading? Yeah. Yes, me Angela. Teacher. Yes. So the things you consider before you pick a career. Mm -hmm. Goals. Goals. Mm -hmm. Skills. Skills. Val values. Values and interest let me give my example i told you when i was entering senior one thank you angela when i was entering senior one my father had made me believe i'm meant to be a doctor and i told you all my senior one books had nango madrusila pcb math that happened to me the entire senior one by senior two chemistry had started to become harder i started putting bc and rather p m german Hmm. By senior three, the PCB had moved to bag biology, agriculture, and geography. You see how I'm changing dreams? By senior four, I knew sciences were not for me. So my interest was not there. Not that the, even the ability was not there in as much as my father wanted me to become a doctor, but I could not do chemistry. I could not, I could reason well in biology, but chemistry and math had really done me a disservice. So interest has to be there. Your values, you cannot choose to become a prostitute when all your life you've been told decency, uh, you've been told to embrace virginity, and then you want to become, uh, you want to do prostitution. You cannot take a career that demeans your values. Some of us have values. What are some of the values that you hold as a child before you enter secondary school? What are some of these values you've, you've earned from secondary, from your homes? What are those values? I need to know your values. So that it is those values that you should consider before picking a particular career. So what are those values that you hold on so tight? Uh -huh, someone's hand is up. The values, yes, Jovio? To be kind. To be kind. So you cannot do a job that entails 
they cannot hire you to be a terrorist. Not so. Because that will make you a less kind person. Thank you, Isabella. Another value that you hold on to so much. To wear decently. To wear decently. And you cannot work in a bar. People are going to be tapping your, your, your behind. You're going to have to dress up enticingly. So you can't work in a bar. You cannot take on a career in a bar where men are drunk. Okay, so there's decency. Uh -huh. Any other values that you hold on to tight so that you don't take on particular careers that I can't do this job regardless. Even if the situation has done worse, I cannot do certain jobs because of these values. Uh -huh. Yes, I need to see that. Okay, so when you're picking a career, make sure the career you're picking does not uh, demean your values. You don't take away the values that you are attached to. To be humble, being humble, yes. I think there's some things that you, some careers can take away your humility. I don't know which careers are those. I think every career needs to be humble. Do you have the skill? You want to become a football a footballer? You want to become the Charles Lukwak of Uganda Cranes, but you can't even kick. You can't even run a one for one 100 meters, you know? Do you have goals? When I talk of goals, I have short-term and long-term goals. So when you're picking a career, all those things have to, put, to be put into place. You have to think about those things before you take on a particular career. So other things you may consider before you pick a career, it can be a family, you can pick a career, but because your father said so. I remember uh, I did education eventually at campus. We had to fight with my father over which subjects to do. He wanted me to do German, I wanted to do geography. So we sometimes the families we come from really influence the career choice you need to take. Some of you are forced to become teachers because everyone in your family is a teacher. You cannot be different. Please, you can be different. Okay, consider your personality. You want to become a uh, personality, by the way, is very crucial. You want to, to become a banker. You want to be a cashier at some bank, but you're so gloomy, you don't have customer care. You know, these are things you need to consider before you pick a career. Religion, you cannot decide to start a pork joint when you are a Muslim. It is not in line with your religion. Some people look at payments. No one, no parent is advising their children to become teachers because you look at us as people who earn so little but we work with so much love. So sometimes you look at the call, the payments at hand. Does this job pay well? Does this job have career opportunities? After I have done this course, okay, which, which organizations am I going to work in? Is the job marketable? And then your attitude. Attitude determines altitude. If I'm to pick a particular career, do I like it? Personally, I can't become a lawyer because I feel it is more of a judgmental thing, but that does not stop you who has the positive judgment about it to become a lawyer. Are we together? So when you're picking a career, look at all those things to consider, and then you go ahead and train for them. Uh, now look at this person, for example, attitude. When she was uh, campaigning to become the pigeon, she just signed up not knowing what it entails. When they tell you that you're going to miss tourism of Uganda, if you think of the beauty, the makeup, the fame, but do you can you handle going into a tourist site and you have to deal with these animals? Because that is what tourism is about. See the reaction of this pigeon. You know, so when you're picking a career, be careful that you have the right attitude. Angela, are you following? So as you join Senior One, we at senior1.org are going to guide you. When am I, which career do I take? I have this kind of attitude, you know? Are we together? I hope I'm giving you a proper insight on that. Pick a career with the right attitude. Pick a career that you love. Pick a career that suits your personality. That is the only way you can do it successfully and you do it as if it is your calling, okay? And remember, we said that calling is something that is inborn. You don't wake up and you're like, John Black, blah, blah, blah. Singing is not there, but we can nurture it, you know? You wake up and singing is all you have to do. You can do it effortlessly with love, with a little fun, with joy. The way I do my teaching, you know? 
I look at a student and I know this is a potential person. I do it effortlessly with a lot of enjoyment, no complaining. This is what a job should feel like. It should embed your calling. It should put enable you to grow, to grow in it. So a job should have your career in it, should have that calling embedded as well. Any questions? So I want us to look at these pictures here. Who do you think has, where can we uh, put calling, job, and career in one? Look at the jobs I have on the screen for you. Where do we embed calling, career, and job? I want to hear from you now. Where do we embed calling, career, job? Which subjects can you do to achieve which job? As you enter senior one, that is what senior1.org is here to do. This is where we need to do these sessions of career guidance. Uh huh. Is someone giving me the ruler? Hey. Angela, we are looking at the picture and we are going to identify what are the potential areas where there is a calling, a job, and a career from the pictures. Oh, yes, Isabella. The singer has a calling. The singer has a calling. What if it is a bad singer? Do you know I'm a terrible singer, but I believe if I go for vocal training, I can be a good singer. Okay, so singing needs you to have that calling. Amazing. Thank you, Isabella. And Chanel? Chanel, mm -hmm. who is doing a job, a career, and a calling? Pressure, <laughs> mute your mic. Tendo Joy, mm -hmm. Tendo, can I hear from you? Joy, Joy. Uh, a boxer is doing mm. a, a calling. A calling? Eh? Yes, okay. a boxer. A boxer is doing a calling. Uh, Isn't he trained? Yeah. Don't you think Gorilla goes through training? Was Gorilla born, born boxing, really? He, hmm? I think he loves it from inside. He was born with it. He likes it. Okay. He likes So it is. he does it with love. So it becomes a calling. Then yes. would you also want to be like Gorilla? No. Okay. Let me hear from Hesham. Thank you, Tendo. Hesham? Mm-hmm. Hesham, your mic is unmuted and you're not talking. We don't have a lot of time, Fausta. I need to hand over to the next person. A pop. A pop, uh-huh. A career. A pop is doing a career because they are trained. You know, whether they go through a lot of training, even priests, but someone can be naturally born. They are humble, they love. They have love for children. They have love for people. They have a helping hand. Sometimes those things are also embedded in their Fausta. It can be a calling and at the same time you train further. So you can better your calling. You can make your calling better by training for read. So I think now we have an insight. When you're there seated as you're joining senior one, leading a church is a calling. I also believe that a priest is a career because you train, but then some priests are really naturally born priests. Okay, keep those messages coming in, I'll be reading. In the interest of time, I need to get going. A teacher can be a calling. Me, I believe I'm a called teacher because I do it with all the love. Then I keep making myself better. I'm moving from one step to another, meaning I'm growing into the teaching career. So a calling and a job, they all move hand in hand. It's just the attitude that you use that takes you somewhere. So why do we need career guidance at senior1.org? We need to help you discover yourself. As you're entering senior one, find out what is the personality that I have. With my character trait, which job can I do? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? So that you're able to make informed decisions. Okay, and then with when you join senior one dot oh, we're going to give you general knowledge on which professions to undertake. This is why we are giving you this career guidance. Okay. So I, I need to tell you that you need to believe in yourself and all that you know that there is there is inside you is greater than what is and any obstacle. That is the quotation I want to leave with you before I hand over to Mr. Dumba. 
Any questions? Any questions before I go? Simply believe in yourself. It is possible for that career to happen. It is possible for you to make that calling better. It is possible for you to succeed at that job. Simply believe in yourself. That is what senior1.org is here to help you nurture. It's here to help you grow and develop. Any questions? I have a question here. Babire? Yes, Babire? Sure. Babire, I'm waiting to hear from you. Your hand is up. Um, Hasham? Hasham, Hasham. Tendo. Tendo. Uh, teacher, on Monday, no learning before payment. Yes, we are going to, yes, we are not going to, you're not going to attend the lesson without paying. Please make sure you pay between now and Monday. It is 50,000. Yes. Anything to do with career that I've talked about? Are you stuck somewhere? Keep those questions coming in. As you join senior, when you must have a goal, what do I want to do before I finish senior four? Because what you do at senior four determines what you do at A level, and that will determine the course at university. Which subject do I need to take? Which school do I join? All those questions might be, must be at the back of your mind as you join senior one. Yes, Desire. Sorry? When I say like 25, then I will say 25 more. Uh, we, we shall, you will call Mr. Dumba's number. He's going to talk to you about that. I Please, I want to kindly entertain the questions on what we have so far looked at. Mr. Dumba, I want to hand over to you. <laughs> yes. I think that has been my submission. Thank you very much. Make informed decisions by consulting us at senior1.com. Oh, and most importantly, believe in yourself. It doesn't matter the kind of family you come from, the size you are, the color of your skin. Simply believe in yourself and you'll pick the right career. Nurture that calling and things will move normally. Thank you so much for listening to me. I think I hand over to Mr. Dumba now. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Teacher Dosira. This was really, this was really uh, inspiring for our learners today. So uh, I want to share my screen too. I want to share my screen. So here we, here we are. It is uh, senior1.org that is presenting a career guidance day. Uh, teacher Dusila talked about passion. She talked about a calling. I want to reassure you, dear learners, that uh, teacher Dusila, uh, myself, Mr. Dumba Steven, and then our school principal, Mr. Ogwal Isaac, are passionate teachers. We haven't merely sat on the sides uh, waiting for schools to resume. We have decided that we can give you people an online platform where we can learn together. We are also going to learn from you. We are introducing this new syllabus to you people. And at the end of every week, that is on Fridays, we shall be having uh, sessions like this. We are going to have, uh, today we are having a career guidance session. And then on uh, Next Friday, we shall have a health talk, especially for the girls. We are going to have uh, medical personnel to come here and talk to you. Uh, I can see your hand, Mr. Ansari Bennett. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to get to you. I just have a, a, an announcement to make that this week, we are ending our free sessions. And on Monday, starting on Monday, it's only those that have paid that will have access to all our our resources. Uh, can I have your question? Can you please unmute Bernard? Bernard, will you please unmute? Then, okay, Nicole. Uh, can I talk to you? I think Mr. Are we going to study on Saturday? 
Sorry. Okay. Are we going to study on Saturday? On Sunday? No, we are not going to Saturdays and Sundays, but you can still have one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with our counselor, teacher, Dusira Namoma. If you feel you have questions about this platform and in case you want some career guidance or counseling, teacher Dusira will be uh, available. You can call on our number uh, 0200 and 137. Uh, when you say that, that you are going to have a writing assignment, now, if we finish the assignment, how should we submit? Please, uh, the assignments for now, send them to our WhatsApp number, which is 0200-907-137. and We already have some assignments. And if you go to our website, www.senior1.org, we already have an article by Yvette Lucy. She has written an experience about her experience about the COVID-19 pandemic. And we have her article and picture on the website. Please, you too can write Shall articles we can't, and we can't access Sorry? Sorry? You can't access? I didn't get that. The website is www.senior1.org. And we are going to share the Google Classroom course only to those who have paid, which is starting next week. Our WhatsApp number is 0200-907-137. Uh, in case you prefer using email, the email is info at senior1.org. So I want to continue with what Richard Dosira was giving us today. Uh, it's a career guidance day. There are many careers. There are many jobs people are doing. Richard Dosira just told us the difference between a career, a job, and a calling. Uh, just remind you, I myself, Dumba Steven, uh, teacher of world, and uh, Dosira Nangoma, we are passionate teachers. It is a calling. We are teachers also by profession. It's also a job. But I want to first tell you who I am. I am Dumba Steven, a teacher of ICT. I've taught ICT for the past 15 years. Before many of you were born, I think all of you, before all of you were born. I also design websites. And then I also repair computers. I am the director of Eason School of Computing. I have built several school websites and I have repaired computers in very many schools around uh, Uganda. That's briefly about who I am. So I want us to go in groups. I want to ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? So I'm going to create a group. Uh, okay, yes, please. Will you go ahead with your question? Hello? Okay, Nicole, can I have your question, Nicole? No, I want to say I want to, I want to be a pediatrician. A, a what? A pediatrician. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Nicole. Now we are going to go into groups. Now uh, we are roughly 30 here. And, and uh, we have Jovio. Jovio or Jovia? Jovio, what do you want to be when you grow up? A neurosurgeon. You want to be a neurosurgeon. Thank you so much. Now let us go into our groups. And then uh, uh, we let us go for breakout rooms. And then we discuss what you, each of you wants to be. Well, what each of us wants to be. Uh, let me see, three, we are 30. Let me make four breakout rooms. So among yourselves, I want you to choose a group leader, and then you note down the jobs you want to do, the careers you want to pursue, or what you want to be when you grow up. Choose among yourself a leader. And then when we come back, your leader is going to tell us 
what you people decided. And then I also want you people, each of you to have an answer as to why, why you chose that particular group. So let us go into groups. So we are going to be there for some uh, five minutes. Uh, let me see. Excuse uh, me. Yes, please. How do I join a group? Uh, the, 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 a note is going to come on your on your screen right now. We are going to have you're going to have something on your screen that is going to tell you that is going to tell you which group to go to. So we start. Members, are you there? I want to be a business lead.
comida. So, welcome back, learners. Uh, welcome back, Isabella. Isabella, your, your hand is up. Yes, teacher. Yeah, yes, please, Isabella. On uh, were, some of were, were you a group leader? Yes. Oh, wow. But only two people told me what they wanted to become. Only two people? Yes. Uh-huh. What do they want to, to become? Hashem wants to become a doctor. Sorry? No, it's Hashem. <laughs> Hashem wants to become a doctor. Uh, 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 okay, let me let me let me let me do this. Isabella was a group leader. And your yes. team want to be an agriculture. No. Yes. I want to become an agriculture office. Agricultural officer. Thank you so much. And who else? Hashem. Yes, Hashem wants to be. A doctor. A doctor. Okay, which team was which, which team was this? Group one. Team three. This was team three. Yes. Okay. Now let us have a team. Yes, Jovio. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, Isabella. There was also Ben. Yes, Ben wanted to be. An accountant. Yes, Ben wants to be an accountant. And who else? Peter. Isabella, do you have another person from your group? No. Thank you so much, Peter. Isabella, for leading this team. So, uh, is it Jovio? Yes, team one. Jovio from team one. Yes. Okay, we are going Elijah. to note down. Elijah wanted to be an engineer. Yes, from team one, we have an engineer. Me, and I want to be a neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeon. Thank you. Fausta you also wanted to become a surgeon. Fausta also wanted to be a surgeon. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Peter Odot also wanted to be an engineer. Sorry, a neurosurgeon? Peter Odot wanted to be an engineer. An engineer. So we have two engineers here and two neurosurgeons, right? Yes. Thank you so much, Jovio. And then another person wanted to be a pediatrician. A pediatrician. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any yeah. other? No. Thank you so much, Jojo, from team one. So, which other team did we have? Team, team, team four. Two. Team four. Yes, who was the group leader in team four? Team four, who was the group leader? Nicole. Oh, Nicole. Nicole, this was team. Yes, teacher. Yes. What do you want, want to be? I want to be a pediatrician. Uh -huh. Who else? Someone from my team said they want to be a nurse and a teacher. Oh, we, we, so we have we have a nurse and we have a teacher. Is that all? I think that was all from you. Okay, Kathy, your hand is up. Would it was none. Teacher, it was none and teacher. A nun. Yes. Okay then. Kathy, will you please unmute? 
Um, I want to become a climatologist. Uh, in which group were you? Kathy, in which group were you? Was this team, team two? Okay. Team two. Climatologists. Uh-huh. El who else? Mochile Rodney. Yeah, me, I want to become an orthopedic doctor. An orthopedic? Yes, doctor. Orthopedic doctor. doctor. Do we have, uh, then we have Yvette Lucy. Yvette Lucy, me, want... us... yes? I want to be a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Wow. Uh, Yvette Lucy gave us the first article on senior1.org by Elana. I want to congratulate you, Lucy. Thank you so much for your article. It was nice reading through your experience. Uh -huh. You're so, welcome, teacher. Mm, good, 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 good. Now, that's about, that's about what we want to be. Now, can you give me the reasons? We want to go to the reasons. Why do we why, why why do we want to be these jobs that that, that, we, that we chose here? Uh, do we have anyone to give us reasons? Hello, teacher. Evans. Yes, Evans. Evans. Okay, Mochiri Rodney. Uh, teacher, me to become an orthopedic doctor. Yes, I why? Have why seen, you give us this reason? I yes. have seen a lot of people die because of bone cancer. Now, because of, of bone cancer. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, uh, please go ahead. I'm, I, me as me, I have seen a lot of people die because of bone cancer. Oh, I, bone I want cancer. to up people. So you want to give, you want to be part of the solution? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much, Muchi Rodney. So, HP Jason, yeah, why do you want, what? you want to become? A nurse. Yes, why? Yeah, a nurse. You want to become yes. a nurse? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, what reason? I'm from Okay, I didn't get you well. Uh, Isabella, please. I would like to become an agriculture officer because I like to grow crops and take care of animals. You want to grow up crops and take care of animals. Of animals. Yeah, thank you so much. Unfortunately, we are running out of time. People have other engagement, but I wanted us to look at, uh, there are things around us, there are things that are happening around us that, uh, that we need to look at. For example, we are using Zoom right now. Whom do you think is responsible for creating such good software? Do you have anyone with an answer? Marion, do you have an answer? Oh, uh, we have someone with the Galaxy J5. We have Zoom here. And who is responsible? Who was there to make this Zoom? What kind of person made this software? A computer engineer. 
a computer engineer. Thank you so much. Or a software engineer. Then we have something like uh, our website, www.senior1.org, where you are getting all these, where you're going to get these resources and where you are going to learn from. I have not seen anyone mentioning someone like a web designer or a web developer. There are many jobs and careers around us. I just want you to look around you. There are many things we are using and someone must be on the job trying to do this and trying to make the best for us. So there are many, just so, so, so many, many, many opportunities around us. But finally, uh, as we wrap up this lesson, first we shall have another lesson of this kind to, to add on this. I want you to go back into your groups. I want you to go back into your groups uh, and then ask yourselves, what job does my neighbor do? You don't need that thing, you concentrate here. Oh. Uh, let me first mute your people. What I want is in, in it, within three minutes, I want each of you to mention in your groups the job that your neighbor does. You'll notice that the jobs that we have by our neighbors are not necessarily the jobs that we have here. Then you'll come back here and we'll share this again. So in our groups in three minutes, let me bring the breakout rooms again. Recreate, we have four groups. Okay, let's go to our groups and know what our neighbors are doing.
Desire. Teacher, you are muted. I will say you would. Okay. Uh, sorry, learners, uh, for, for that mix up. Uh, I want to say that today is our last day of our of our of this week. However, over the weekend, you can call us or WhatsApp us on 0200. 907 uh, 137 and then we shall we shall help you in any way we can then starting on monday payment has to be 50000 lesson starting on monday will be only for those who have paid we have uh, a health talk on friday next week still only those who have paid will be able to attend this session and these sessions are going on till the end of the year I now welcome a few of your questions before we close this training today. Do we have any questions, please? I name Baba as a Patricia. Okay, we have someone with the Techno J8. One in the Joel. One in the Joel, go ahead. For those of us who do not have phones, we are using laptops. How do we submit the assignment? Yes, those who have laptops, we are going to you are going to submit your assignments via via Google Classroom. The classroom code is going to be shared only those who have paid there. Was that clear, Joel? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And then, any other any other question? Technology eight, I can see you unmuted. Okay. All right. We are senior one dot org. 
Our email is info at senior1.org and our number is 0200907137. You can call that number, it's an Airtel number, and then you can also WhatsApp on that very number. Thank you so much. Let's meet next week uh, in our ensuring sessions. Thank you so much.